Did we start celebrating a little bit too early? I think maybe we did. The spot price of gold got within a dollar of its all-time high for about a minute. And today, well, it's back down closer to $2,000. Look, I will take it. Gold goes up on bad news. It comes back down a little bit on good news. So it's hard to complain when the thing you've been doing does what it's supposed to. And besides, some of us celebrate those pullbacks too. So we got our pause that we've been waiting for. Do we talk about that or do we talk about the bank issues? I think we're gonna have to talk about both, but let's start with the pause because by now I've talked about that dozens of times at this point. That's the idea that the Fed would hike rates through May and then they would hold off the rest of the year hoping inflation would cool off. Well, that's here now, or at least the signal for that is here. And if I misinterpreted it, well, a lot of the traders did too because gold was immediately trading well above $2,000 on that news. Well, now we get to add regional bank fallout to the list of things impacting gold prices. When the bank issues look bad, the price of gold shoots up. When the banks seem okay, well, the prices come back down. Now, this is a good thing if you've been buying gold on the faith that price goes up when other things get into trouble. We're definitely seeing that. Gold hit $2,073 an intraday, if I saw correctly. It's kind of hard to say because it didn't last long enough, but that's a dollar off of the all-time high. Now, I've mentioned a few times now, I'm not excited to be buying at these higher prices, but that is a low-level complaint. I was planning on a pullback leading up to a Fed pause or a signal of the Fed pause, which is actually what we got. I figured that would be all of April, but these surprise bank issues, they really took that out of the picture. Well, looking ahead, your guess is probably as good as mine. I'm about as conflicted on prices as I've been in a decade. My sense is that prices for gold will continue to go up. And some of the chartists out there are even suggesting that there's heavy support in 1920. It's the closest thing to a floor that you can get, I guess. But if traders start to feel better about the bank situation, you have to assume things are going to cool off. You can't ignore what was happening a month ago. The clear direction was down from $1,800. Those bank failures turned that around overnight. So if we see more of those failures, definitely we'll see an impact on gold price again. It'll go up. But if the concern dies off, well, normally I would say the price would drop again too, but now with this inferred pause on rate hikes, there's a little bit wider support for the prices we're seeing right now. So weird time. I think at the most basic level, I would say that we could see prices go a lot higher or a little bit lower. And in a case like that, and really any case that I'm not real sure what's coming, I would just continue to buy at a normal clip and try not to overthink it. In the case of a small purchase, it seems like there's more to win than there is to lose. But if I was making a big purchase, I definitely would not do it today. I'd be thinking about a longer term return. So the only way to be relatively sure that the price is going to continue to go up is to wait for a big drop. So 15% price drop, I would make a bigger purchase. But outside of that, I'm probably just going to continue buying slowly. Again, trying not to overthink it. Now, I realize that's a little bit different story than some of the others are telling around here. The popular news is that CBDCs are coming and we're all in trouble. Banks are going under. We need to pull all of our cash out immediately, put it all into gold or silver. Now, if that's a fun story for you, I don't want to ruin it. But the gold and silver dealers have definitely identified the hot stories. It's the CBDCs and the bank failures, and they're pouring gas on them. I don't have a clue what's going to happen with the banks. Nobody does. I was surprised by SVB, so was everybody else. And it's just impossible to say what's coming. But the CBDC story, that one's pretty far off base. When a CBDC does finally roll out here, it's most likely going to be aimed at entitlements. The hot story is that the government is coming for your money. So let's just work through this real quick. If a CBDC rolled out right now, that would most likely blow up the entire banking industry. The government does not want that right now. So my guess is that it will be positioned to make it easier for people to get government aid. So that's aimed at a certain segment of the population. Now, if you're worried about the government rolling out something to steal your money, well, maybe you have a lot of it. Maybe your money will fix the country's problems. Most likely though, a rug pull would affect way too many people for it to simply be something that a government could pull off without a wide-scale revolt. 
The other part of the story with CBDCs is that we're going to be seeing tracking and oversight, and I hate to ruin everybody's day, but that's already here. That's been here for years. I made several videos about merchant tracking codes last year. It does not matter if you use a credit card or an ACH direct payment. As long as you're using a bank account, there's a code identifying the vendor classification for every purchase you make. That's been happening for a long time. Now, for you to be further affected, the government needs to do something new, like introduce an actual account-based CBDC. That's not a token-based system. That's not a real-time payment platform. That's an actual CBDC wallet. And regardless of what the people attached to bullion dealers are telling you, that is a huge deal. That will either mean the end of regional banks as we know them today, or it's the release of an actual currency, and that has to go through legislative approval. If anyone's suggesting that you need to race the rollout of a CBDC here in the United States, they are profiting in some way from that story. When an actual CBDC is being pushed here for real, you will know. Lots of people, they don't want it, and there are politicians who are going to be taking hard lines against it if for no other reason just to boost their popularity. You could launch an entire political career on that one fight. This is not something that can be introduced through an executive order. It needs approval. So the way I see gold fitting in here, it's really pretty simple. You just set yourself up with some options, be diversified, have a backup. And if a carrot comes around attached to a CBDC, well, don't bite. And I think that might be a pretty good motto in general. Don't bite. Let's call it good there. I was starting to think this whole story of spot price was getting old. We did hit 2050 though. We're getting pretty close to that all-time high of 2074. The bigger story to me is really about the premiums on fractional. That's getting pretty tough. You're going to have to be doing a lot more shopping to find those deals. So let us know how this is affecting you, what you're seeing, what you're doing. I think it's just good to get a wider perspective on things. And while you're in the comments, be sure to hit that like button if you found any of this interesting. Be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you'd like to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.